Hey guys, it's me, 50, and this is going up on two channels since I'm a little bit lazy today. Um, but uh, this will be going up on the Infamous Network first, then it will go up on my personal channel. And this is just showing off the different reflex sites and kind of my thoughts on them as I would call them on my series. So the first one that I'm showing off here, it's on the M27, it's actually part of a default class, um, which is your default red dot site very easy to use it's just a red circle that's it how do you aim with it use the circle <laughs> there's nothing much to that sight except for just point it at the guy and then shoot with it um, it's pretty simple so if you don't know how to use the um, reflex sight that way then I guess stick with iron oh um, by the way I will say how you unlock each of these and then my personal tactics with them too. Um, you get the plus sign one from getting 50 kills, which really isn't that hard. That's like two, three games for me. Um, and it's the plus. Now what you want to do is make sure that you aim with the center of the plus. Um, it's a really small plus, um, pretty similar to the default, but there's like a little bit extra hanging off. So I would just aim in the middle with the plus. Um, again, that's after 50 kills. After 100 kills, you get the same dot, but it's a hollow dot, and it's blue. Nothing really new there. It's pretty similar to the first one. Just aim and shoot. Now, the target drop, there's three dots here, but the one that you want to aim with is at the top. You get this target drop at 200 kills. Um, so that little top circle with the um, circle inside of it, that's what you want to be aiming with. I found this one a little hard to use compared to the first three, but um, feel free to use it if you feel like it would fit your playstyle. Uh, personally, I don't like it, but um, compared to the first three, but it, they threw it in there. So if you enjoy it, no offense. Next one is called Valley, and that's after 300 kills. And again, you want to aim with that little dot. There's always going to be a little point on all of these where you want to aim. And most of the time, they're that first little dot. The little piece at the bomb, that's more of just for extra. Um, and again, that's after 300 kills. And pretty much, it's pretty much the default just with a little evil smiley face at the bomb, I like to call it. So again, aim with a little red dot. Drop shot um, is after 400 kills. And then it's the two dots with the arrow pointing down. Again, aim with that first dot. Should breeze right through it. 500 kills is where you get the peak. Now, the peak, there is no dot to say, okay, aim here. But what I've realized is you want to aim at the tip of that triangle. And that's where you will get your shots off. Um, and again, that's after 500 kills with the reflex sight. And now, after you get that one which is peak you have four challenge ones that you have to get so that's after 500 kills that's gonna take you a little while um, but after you do get peak you can get Steve which I don't get where they got the name for that one but it's the little handlebar mustache and you want to aim right in between the, the two mustache bars where that's that little gap and that's if you get 25 headshots while aiming down sights with the reflex sight sadly hip firing doesn't work like it does on most uh, headshot challenges for other guns and when it comes to camos and speaking of camos yes I did get gold camo on these guns I'll, I'll do a proper introduce to those later um, the next one is the smiley face which is 20 double kills and uh, it's kind of self-explanatory just line that head up with their head and you should be good to go um, I found that this one Steve this one and Steve are more of just you know Ha! Reticules and actually useful reticles. So use it at your own risk, people. I know they look cool, but they're probably not going to help you out too much. Diamond is 10 long shot, and this was a hard one to get. Um, so what I would suggest is using it on a long range assault rifle play on bigger maps. Um, if you stay in the way back of Nuketown, you could probably um, get this if you shoot from um, that one spawn where you can look into the garage all the way back there um, in zombies it's usually where the mystery box or pack a punch would be just stay back there aim down that road just 
get a couple of kills and you should be fine. And the last one is Predator, which is 10 Bloodthirsties. Now, the way that I usually get Bloodthirsties is within um, Free For All or if I'm playing with a team on Team Deathmatch. I feel like those are the easiest ways that you'll get your Bloodthirsty medals since when you're playing objective based games, you're going to get blown up. There's always the objective that you got to protect and it makes it a lot harder. But with the Predator, it's a harder sight to aim with. Um, again, it's more of those, ha, just for looks type aiming since you really want to aim in the center of the three dots and that's hard to do since there's not a physical dot being there for you. You're better off going with a default or a dot or the diamond than using this red coal, as cool as it looks. Don't get me wrong, I like how cool it is. It was in Black Ops 1, but I would not suggest actually using it in-game, just if you're like trolling around or just trying to have fun with friends. That's when I would suggest using this um, little site here. Um, so which ones do I think are the most useful? Probably Default, Dot, and Diamond. Which one do I use all the time? It's gotta be the fault. Uh, I just love how simplistic the default site is. I love how basic it is. I love how easy it is to use and how you don't have to do anything for it. Um, it, it just gives you that off the bat and it's a very simple site to use. Um, it, there's nothing more that I can really say with the default reflex site. Now, um, one thing that I know I do a lot is I say red dot sight when I mean reflex sight. That's because in previous Call of Duties it was red dot sight. So um, bear with me um, if I have said that a lot in this video. Um, but scenarios on when to use red dot sights is number one when your iron sights suck. That's a very good time to use a red dot sight, or if you want to make your aim more precise, um, such as bold act or not bold action, what am I thinking? Um, Semi-auto rifles are great with reflex sights because it lets you have more view of your target and to peg them off with at those longer distances where the iron sights can kind of obstruct. Um, one thing that I love about the reflex sight over some of the other sights except for the M MS, which is actually um, smaller. Uh, than the reflex sight is it gives you a lot of peripheral vision so you can see around you um, when you're actually playing so it makes it easier for you to move your gun into the position that you want it to and then shoot down and that way not that many people catch you off guard unless they're coming from behind you of course when they're dead in front of you it's an easy okay they're here they're here they're here there's nothing much to it where some iron sights can kind of obstruct that so that's another time when I would use the red that site also too another thing that I love about default it doesn't take up too much of your reflex site itself so that's why I usually like it it's small it's useful and it's very simplistic um, sometimes when you're choosing a class and you're really try harding maybe that's what you gotta do in order to keep your gun on aim since a lot of the gunfights that you play on um, when you're five bar, five, bleh, five barring, of course, or three barring, is making sure that all your bullets hit. Because if you're one barring, uh, it doesn't matter if you really get your hits on, since uh, you're you're gonna be wasting a clip anyways. But um, on the side note of that, you know, it is very helpful to keep your iron sights up. It's more useful to have a clear aim on your target. Sounds like you know, round one, but I'm just saying, it. a lot of people just throw on reflex sights and think, oh, you know, it, it's going to help with, um, you know, my aim. And sometimes there are guns that do not need the reflex sight, where they have perfect iron sights and you don't need them on the gun. And that's what I want you to make your decision on, because I can't do that for you. Some people love reflex sights on the MP7. I love normal iron sights. Some people like reflex sights on PDW. Well, I like reflex sights on the PDW since I think the iron sights suck as well. <laughs> um, but, like, the XM8, they have good iron sights, but I prefer to put on the reflex sight. That way I can get those shots on more precise since um, the iron sights do obstruct a little bit of your view. And it's all about what kind of tactic you want to go about. If you're going to use this at long range be my guest um 
but I will say that I feel the holographic sight is better better for longer range battles than the reflex sight, but the reflex sight will make your medium range weapons work better at long range. Um, when it comes to close range, it's not going to help you too much unless if your gun you know, is like a laser gun, <laughs> like most guns seem to be like. And here's the thing too, don't put a reflex sight on a high recoil gun, it's not going to help you. I'm sorry, it's not. So, um, just hip fire, I guess. And, uh, uh, <laughs> I know I'm kind of rambling now about how to use the reflex sight, but I just wanted you guys to know what I feel is correctly useful. I know there's a lot of little trolls I did in this video, and I'm speeding up a lot of it. Um, again, it's the R870 and the PDW Gold. Um, I will just explain this right now. I'm trying to get gold on a lot of different guns for you guys to keep the series going. And um, that way, when the, these reviews come out, I can give you something shiny to look at. <laughs> so um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this kind of long um, thought process on reflex sites um, in Black Ops 2. Um, it's kind of self-explanatory for other Call of Duty. So if you are like, huh, I don't have Black Ops 2, but I have Black Ops 1, and I like what this guy is saying about the reflex slash red dot site, go ahead and use the red dot site. I've used them in many Call of Duties. I feel like they are a great choice always. And um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Again, this is going up on two channels. Um, so stay frosty, guys. Mm -hmm.